frame six. Neil Robertson to bring. Black looks a bit safe, but uh, not sure if Dane can pot this red and loosen it away from the reds or get on it if it goes into the same pocket. Mm, that's a good shot. <laughs> and he must feel it pot what? unless he played for the pink. Well, he's having a look now if we can get to the potting angle, obviously. The black must pot. Just a if he can get past that first red, the uh, point of contact, he needs to pot it. Mm. <laughs> Two pretty good shots, considering the last time he went to his uh, chair, he'd missed a good opportunity, as we mentioned, to get Eight. back into the previous frame. <coughs> He's put that disappointment out of the way. He's taking his time over a very easy shot. Yeah, it looks straightforward, doesn't it? But uh, if he was straighter, he could just roll this in and get a nice angle on the black. But he doesn't feel as though just by doing Nine. that. So he's bounced off the cushion, and he has got a nice angle on the black. And will he force it in and cannon into the cluster, bring more reds into play? Well, that's what he did. Excellent break build. I mean, you, for any young player watching, just watch his 16. shot selection when he's in and around the black spot. He's as good as anyone in the game. 70. <clears throat> 24. Play that slow purposely to leave a nice angle on the black. Just have a chance to look at Ding's technique here. It's very solid. See him side on while he's, uh, he's in a slightly awkward position with his feet there, but his cue action is perfect. He's dropped out of position slightly. 32. Once again, we've got to play a rub in the cushions with his hand. That means he feels that it's uh, responding a little bit quickly coming off it. Still got the red in the centre. Can hold for the black. 33. You see him side on. He's, uh, well, he's exactly like when you're coaching a young player comes in for the first time and you set him up like that. Perfect. 40. A little bit straighter on this red, but I'm not certain. Hmm. He tried to stun past the pink. 41. And he's made a mess of it. If it had been straight on the red, that's why we say this game's all about fractions. If it had been straight on the red, it'd have been a formality just to run through for the black. Tried to just stun past the pink and misjudged it. And it could be end of break.
may be thinking about putting a bulk colour safe as he plays this safety shot. I mean, the easiest safety shot here is to play it off the pink, but he's playing the brown, so maybe considering pushing the brown to a cushion. Things when we 41. Well, a bit further down the cushion than that. left a chance of a pot on here it's not easy but it does cut to the left corner and that's the problem you can't leave these players a sniff of a chance and he came to the table with a 41 point lead and now another 40 points and he'll be level again. I'm not quite certain which ready played for there, in all honesty. He had a nice angle on the blue. A scratch of the head because. I'm not quite certain what he played for there. He's got this pot, but it's tricky. <laughs> played it well, though. Now, is he on a colour? Needs a full ball kiss Set. on the yellow. Well, it just about gives him a chance of the green. But I'm not certain where the next red will come from. Beijing we set. Some taps in the cup. Dane's 48 points in front. He'd be very comfortable at this moment with the position of the balls on the scoreboard. Very tough to escape from this. He was quite good at getting out of snookers, but he needs something special here to hit the red and get it safe. Of course, if he doesn't hit the red, we have a miss called, and that will. A few points could go stray there. Yes, as you say, and I always feel that. The more difficult the snooker, when you're hitting the cushion almost immediately, it's hard to judge off the first cushion. Got to avoid the middle pocket. That's a bit wide. Is he hitting the pink? Foul, the miss. He has. We six. And if he's not left anything on, I'm certain Ding will have it replaced. And you can't blame him for that. Because this is a tough shot. I can do to make sure it's right, yeah, because you're on the move. Ivy, can you bring it up for the pink and the red, please? All things considered, Terry, I didn't think that that was a, a bad effort for the first attempt. No, it wasn't. It, uh, well, as you said, John, it's it like is difficult to, you know, to judge the throw off the first cushion. So uh, our referee is asking if, you, if the marker there can uh, okay. show with a pink and... And red were placed. I don't think it a, makes a huge difference. Yeah, he's going a different way now. He's coming off the bulk cushion. Oh, well, he went the same way. He's judged it better this time. <laughs> Excellent shot. Very, very well played. Well, it's kept him in the frame, and it wasn't just the angle he had to judge there, but the pace. If he did too hard, he would have split the reds. 
too soft and you would have uh, added replaced again and another four points. Yeah, I'm just wondering, Terry, whether Ding Junhui can just cut this red back to the left corner. Well, he obviously can. So it's not as safe as we thought, but it's tough, this. It was tough, that one. Now, what damage has he done? You're seeing that in one shot, the change in the game over the years, you've never seen whatever Joe Davis or Ray Reardon take a shot like that on. Unheard of. I remember the uh, late, great John Pullman telling me, he said, uh, you'd never pot a red, he said, go for a long red and kiss into the pack in my day, he said. Never heard of it. <laughs> One. Of course, there's been a number of changes over the years. And the reasons for the, uh, the positive way in which the lads play these days, the, the cloths are better than they used to be, the balls are more lively. And to be honest, the main reason is that the players are a lot better. The full-time players now, in the earlier days, a lot of the players played.